guys this is ITA previews and in this video I'm gonna be showing you what stuff or things you can do after you jailbreak your device so if you have a um, pretty much anything like iPhone 4, iPhone 4s, iPad or um, well obviously the iPad is gonna be a bit different but um, like iPod touch and iPhone 4 are pretty similar so I'm just gonna show you what stuff you can do after you jailbreak so if you if you're not sure uh, if you want to jailbreak or not uh, just watch this video and hopefully you'll see if you want to jailbreak or not anyway so let's get this started um, as you can see I have a custom lock screen so that's one of the things that, that you can do after you jailbreak your device also my top bar which is status bar I, I think uh, you can see here I have a custom uh, battery so it shows the percentage uh, in the left corner it shows uh, I have a custom Wi-Fi sign it's like three blue arrows pointing towards the clock also my clock is not in the middle because it's moved to the left so I'll show you which thing you can download a tweak from CDA to customize your uh, top bar so you, you go to settings and the name of the tweak is um, clean status so after you install it from Cydia, you just go here and then um, you can see I can clock and date tide. Right now it's not working because you have to respring, but some of them work. For example, um, let's see here. So you can see the data network. I can put it on or off. The battery icon, you can see it disappears and goes on again. So all that kind of good stuff. You can also customize your... Uh, your top bar to whatever you want to change the icons and stuff um, also like when you scroll as you can see it has a nice effect like a fade out effect when I switch to screens and this is called better so you download this from CDI again and you just go here to mode and there's a couple different modes that you can choose from so let's see here right now I have page fade so it fades out um, but let's for example let's put carousel we go back and as you can see when I switch it has a nice effect which is pretty cool it's like a 3D-ish effect so yeah you can do that if you want um, also after you jailbreak your device you're gonna have Cydia okay so this is Cydia and with Cydia you can pretty much customize your iPhone or iPad or um, iPod touch to where, to however you want so you can change the themes all that kind of good stuff so I'm just gonna show you how to install a theme so I'm just gonna click on themes and since I have an iPhone 4 I'm gonna go to here cuz uh, it has retina display so the, all the icons are gonna be HD so let's just scroll here let's find one that's pretty good right now if you noticed I have a uh, the theme suave it's right here it's free or pretty much all of them are free some of them are not but uh, most of them are free themes even if it says like to pay three three bucks, you just go search and or you can add a source and then you can probably download it for free. So I'm just gonna put whatever obsidian, just for an example right now. So here you can preview your uh, icons or like how the theme is gonna look like. So it's it's like a darkish red theme, which looks pretty cool. And we just go here. You go to package. And then here you can see description, like it, a small description. It shows. Oh, why does it say? Um, I thought it was free. Okay, so as you can see, it says uh, I have to buy it, but let's try. Oops. The end. So as you can see, there's two different ones. And I think the, yeah, the blue one is the one that you have to pay for, and the other one beside it is the free one. So as you can see, it doesn't say to purchase or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go install. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, it just finished downloading. And once it's finished downloaded, you just go back to your home screen. You also need to download a program called Winterboard so you can install the teams from the program. So you'll see that right now. As you can see, I have uh, these white icons here. And the reason for that is because since I installed the theme, uh, all the icons that I uh, hide, they show on the screen. So I just have to respring it. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want this video to be too long. So let's just go to Utilities. And you go to Winterboard. That's where you install the, all the themes from. You go to Select Themes. And right now I have the custom uh, uh, Wi-Fi icons right there. I have the lock screen right there and uh, my current team right now, Suave. So I'm just gonna take that off. I'm gonna make sure to put this on top so the current team doesn't overlay it. And I'm gonna put the Wi-Fi icon too on top too. So right now, as you can see, Obsidian HD has a lot of stuff. so. Let's put uh, wall dark, lock. Actually, I'm just going to take out the day lock to see maybe it has a nice custom lock screen. Um, let's click on, no, I don't want icon glow, maps, no, actually, sure. And then you put the obsidian. OK, so you go back, and then you click on a spring. All right, so it just finished installing the theme. And as you can see, it has a custom uh, slider. I'm not sure if you can see it, but because um, it's pretty dark. But yeah, it's here, and let's see how it looks like. So since I put a uh, dark background, it has a just black background. All the icons are just the way we saw in the preview. The mail icon and the music icon didn't change because you have to change that. You have to SSH into the icons and you have to change the name of it. Uh, so that's why it's not uh, the custom one. And let's try the phone. So as you can see, this theme, theme comes with a custom keypad too. What else? We saw maps, I think. So let's click on maps. Yeah, so as you can see here, it's dark too at the bottom. Let's see if we go to the App Store. The App Store is black, which looks pretty nice. The keypad is uh, white and black because that's my custom one. That's another thing that you can do with the jailbroken device. And pretty much the most important thing that you can do is uh, get installers, which is right here. And what you can do with installers is pretty much just get any app for free. So if you like an app or something and it's like $10, you can get it for free from here. But if you want to support the company or whoever makes the app, just buy it because it helps them. So you go to browse, you go to games, and then here you can see all the apps, the new apps and updates or you can just click on the apps or you can just go to popularity and you see all the popular apps right now. So let's click on um, this one. For example, you, as you can see, you can just download it from here. It has all the information about the app here. You can preview screen. So it's pretty much just like App Store. So for example, let's say you like this game. You look at the size. It's 19.2 megabytes, which is not that bad. So let's just go click download. Okay, so you just go to media file and then you click on download. And it's easy as that, it just started. So you just go to download. And as you can see, it's downloading right now. It's pretty fast. I have a pretty good internet. You can also see all the updates. So right now it's searching for updates. And I should have a lot of them because I have a lot of apps. So yeah, here it shows all the updates and then you can just download the new update if you want. OK, 
okay well it finished uh, downloading and right now it's installing and you can go to home and push settings and here I put so it installs automatically and deletes automatically which is good because it saves space and stuff so right now it's finished installing we go back to home screen sometimes it lags because it just installs so you have to wait a bit before going to home screen and as you can see it's right here so we just click on it i'm not sure how this game is but this is just for demo to show you guys i'm not sure if it's a good game or not but we'll see so click play looks pretty good so far okay so it looks like it's a pretty fun game it's also HD so it's nice I'm not gonna like play it right now because I just wanted to show you guys that this is real so it's not fake or anything like that so anyway that's all for that just quit okay and that's pretty much it like you can do whatever you want if you jailbreak your iPhone or whatever iPad or iPod touch so it's pretty I don't know since right now it's not illegal to jailbreak I say you should jailbreak it because it's worth it's worth it it's like you get a whole new iPhone so yeah it's pretty good anyway that's all I wanted to show you guys if you have any questions and anything like that just leave it in the comments below I will be making a lot of new videos soon well like weekly like two of them or three so yeah look forward to that and that's all i wanted to say so see you guys later